Welcome, this is Aircraft Engineered and today we are replacing a Boeing 787 brake. So after we complete the cockpit preparation and we install the landing gear pins, we check up the aircraft to prepare for the wheel removal. So wheel is checked up now, so we'll uh, prepare to remove it. So in the meantime, we might as well disconnect our electrical wire harness from uh, our electrical brake. So this electrical wire harness is one that powers and controls our electrical brake before we were supposed to have a hydraulic line so now we just only have this electrical wire harness so that's the key difference between our electrical brakes and our traditional uh, hydraulic brakes so something that's a bit unusual is these brake pistons if you notice them they are fully retracted this is because the brake was electrically deactivated uh, at our station so now we're just replacing it because of uh, that fault but normally you will not find brake pistons in that co uh, configuration so wheel is uh, removed and we can see our brake now. I just keep the whole uh, removal part just to save time on the video. But as you can see, one of our status um, is worn out prematurely compared to the other status. I suspect oxidation. But basically this is how our old brake looks like and we're going to take it out and install the new one. As a safety precaution, never touch a hot brake. I am only able to do this because the brake has completely cooled down since it was deactivated. So the next step is to remove the brake rod. Once the brake rod is out, we connect our sling equipment and we take out the brake. So this is how our wheel axle looks like with the brake removed. So after we complete our axle inspection, we have to transfer the brake temperature sensor from the old brake and install it onto the new brake. So after we do that, we do our final inspections and then we hook up the brake on a sling and install it back on the aircraft. So once everything is aligned, we install our brake rod onto the brake. We lock and safety the lock bolt with the quarter pin. We then reconnect our connector and install our wheel back. So at this stage, the brake uh, replacement is complete. We lower the aircraft down and we can now proceed to go to the cockpit to do our tests. So once our test is complete, we restore our aircraft back to its normal configuration and prepare for flight. So one last note, uh, when you're working with uh, electrical brakes, it's very important to inspect our connectors to check the condition of the pins to make sure there are no bent pins or bend marks because those affect the condition uh, on the operation of the brakes. So thank you for watching. Like and follow for more. Ciao.